Hey guys, it's Abyss Help here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has just released an emergency software update for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. iOS 16.4.1, iPadOS 16.4.1, and macOS 13.3. Point one. Of course, in this video, I'm going to show you everything that's new and tell you why it is so important for you to update to this emergency software release. So let's just dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is the size of the download. Right here, you see that it's about two gigabytes. That's only if you're updating from iOS 16.2 or 16.3. However, if you're updating from iOS 16.4 to 16.4.1, the download could be as low as 300 megabytes on your device or as low as 290 megabytes, give or take. Now, there's two things that Apple has addressed here with their release notes. We have the first thing here is pushing hand emoji, not displaying the skin tone variant. So let me show you here the skin tone variation. So here is an iPhone that has this issue. Right here we go into the emoji keyboard right here. And then you see these hands here for the emojis. If I long press, I get these skin tones variations just like so. However, if I try doing that here on the pushing hand emoji, I don't get that. Here's another one. I don't get that either. So it looks like Apple wanted to address that while they release iOS 16.4.1. Now, another issue that Apple is looking to address is Siri sometimes just wasn't responding when you ask her a few questions. And this is something that's been ongoing. So Apple is hopefully adding additional resources here for Siri to be more reliable. Fingers crossed. Now, there's two things that many issues were complaining about with iOS 16.4. And I'm hoping that Apple has addressed that here as well, although they'd mentioned nothing about this on the release notes. Number one is an issue with the weather widget and the weather application. Now this could be server side and Apple has addressed this server side, which means no software is required to have to update your iPhone in order to fix this. But again, Apple has not mentioned that, but I'm hoping that this fix has been implemented. Now, something that most users were complaining about is Wi-Fi connection issues. So many users continue to report with iOS 16.4 that their Wi-Fi will disconnect even after entering your password a couple of times to the same Wi-Fi network. So for example, if you're in your home and you enter your password, you leave and come back, you would have to enter your Wi-Fi password again. That can get annoying. And it looks like hopefully this will be addressed with 16.4.1. However, the most important reason why you should update to iOS 16.4.1, iPadOS 16.4.1, and macOS 13.3.1 is Apple has patched two active exploits so security issues within your iphone that could impact you of course so you want to make sure you stay up to date with the latest software update on your iphone so make sure you go download ios 16.4.1 on your iphone on your ipad update your mac as well it's always important to have these security patches in place and thank you for watching just a quick update guys just a quick emergency release by apple and i wanted to let you guys know about have a great day i'll see you on the next one peace